Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor and all the content and information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation. So let's dive here straight into the one hour time frame because the Bitcoin is pumping uh, one more time. And as you can see, we are moving again towards our previous uh, support, which probably right now is acting as resistance as we did also over here. But the thing is that my target right now at, is at 11,700. So that is approximately at this level over here. So I believe that with this move, probably we're going to break here through this uh, resistance and go up to uh, fill this future gap that we have here. Uh, at 11,700 so probably we will move towards the $12,000 uh, and this is also where I probably gonna close my long position as you can see my order yesterday got filled so right now I'm in profit and I have some more orders set just in case that we have a week uh, to the downside and bounce back up or uh, just uh, a quick um, pullback after this uh, pump that we're seeing right now so the next one is here at 10,200 in case that the price is going that low otherwise I'm just gonna keep uh, this uh, long till 12,000 and then gonna probably close it somewhere around there maybe open a short position uh, but uh, as it is right now I'm gonna uh, write this uh, long to my target and I will add some more position in case that we see a pullback but I didn't put any stop loss uh, so far because I believe that right now uh, we are towards the $12,000 one more time. So here in the one hour time frame, you can see that the RSI is overbought and also stochastic is in the overbought territory. So we could see um, a little pullback here uh, just to cool off here in the, in the very short term. Uh, but uh, in, in the trend, of course, right now is uh, heading uh, to the upside uh, one more time. And also if you go here to the four hour time frame, you can see something similar we are now moving towards the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame so as soon as this one is broken here 10,600 uh, we're probably gonna go straight uh, up and this uh, red line here will act as a support um, and also here the 24 hour moving average you can see is always holding support during the the pump so uh, even if you go down to here to test this line again at, at 10,000 we're probably gonna bounce from here again and and break probably here the 200 moving average uh, I believe that the uh, pullback is very possible here so I, I wouldn't just open right now a, a market order or anything like that uh, just wait for a little pullback a little correction also here in the four hour you can see we are in overbought territory um, here we are at the 17 the RSI and all the stochastic is overbought so a little uh, pullback uh, is, is possible here in the very very short term so in the next couple of hours if we go to the daily time frame you can can see that we uh, successfully recovered above the 20 uh, daily moving average so right now this looks uh, very good and um, I believe that uh, 50 probably will be uh, just um, you can see that the 50 is lining up with our main uh, resistance here so uh, I believe that this line probably we're gonna also um, purge it uh, pretty soon and then as soon as we are above here above the 10,600 um, we're probably gonna move towards the 12,000 it is possible that we also have a week here up to 13 uh, thousand it is possible but uh, I think 12,000 will be probably the maximum around this level here and with that uh, high uh, we still didn't create a new higher high so I think that even if we go that high to 12,000 we are still moving sideways or at least creating uh, lower highs here uh, for the next couple of weeks probably so um, I still uh, believe that we have to go down to fill those gaps those future gaps here at uh, 8,400 to 7,000 so this is where I'm gonna put back my fiat into Bitcoin that I have on the sideline and also open longs there but as soon as the 12,000 is reached I look I, I'm gonna change my strategy and and look for a good uh, uh, short uh, position here in the daily the stochastic is getting into overbought but we still have enough uh, fuel here still to go to the upside here in the stochastic um, you can see also how long we stayed in oversold territories so or the same could be also here in in the stochastic with the overbought we could stay a couple of days up here uh, RSI just uh, went right now uh, above the 50 
50. So from now on, I believe that we're gonna trade in the bullish side and we should see some more pumps here in the next uh, couple of days, at least uh, to bring here the RSI into overbought uh, territory. We can also have a quick look here on the weekly time frame. So here you can see that stochastic is already neutral territory. So we cooled off here and also the RSI is not yet in overbought territory. Uh, as you can see, we moved close to the 20 weekly moving average, but uh, uh, as you can see, we are again testing it to the upside and uh, probably uh, we will go here even uh, higher. The question of course is uh, how we're gonna close this week. Um, I probably believe that we are gonna create here a higher high than uh, the previous week. So probably above 10,600 so that we can go up to 12 to fill the gap but as i told you uh, as soon as we reach 12,000, i probably gonna close my long and look for a short uh, position uh, the thing is that this week uh, this coming week uh, we have the litecoin happening uh, happen uh, so i believe that maybe this could um, cause here some uh, bullish momentum here at least for the very short term but uh, i i wouldn't go like all in or something like that just because of the halfening of litecoin because i believe that uh, this event is already priced in in the price of uh, litecoin and litecoin right now is uh, uh, dropping uh, quite heavily so usually litecoin is a leading indicator of what bitcoin is doing next so even if they're probably Probably this week you're gonna see like uh, a pump of Litecoin or Bitcoin maybe some people gonna FOMO in because of that um, as I told you probably around 12,000 will be the limit I, I believe and uh, um, you know how it is so you should buy the rumor and sell the news so I wouldn't go all in there uh, better to check uh, if you can take some profits out uh, and uh, rebuy as soon as we um, closed all the gaps down to 8,400 uh, which is lining up as you can see here although with the 20 weekly uh, moving average and if you want to trade also on Bybit as I do right now uh, where you can trade up to 100x uh, you can go to my video description if you scroll down here uh, you can see that you can get immediately $10 for free uh, if you sign up with my invitation code and if you put the deposit of 0 0.2 Bitcoin you get additional $50 for free so you can uh, start trade here uh, immediately without taking any risk with your money and with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now I hope you're in a good trade so if you like the content please give it a like subscribe to the channel tick the little bell and we see us all in the next one bye